What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs day number 1459 coming at you once again with another brand new video. I hope you're all doing fantastic out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope uh, if you guys drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats or any of the others that you guys are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new and if and of course if you wouldn't mind hit that like button down below just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job in fact leave a comment saying liked l-i-k-e-d just so I know you did it and let's jump into the email triple lindy Thornton melon style people are getting crazy with horns around here in this lot I don't like it but let's jump into this so this person asked to remain anonymous. What the hell's going on with these horns? I don't know if you guys can hear that. Anyway, this person asked to remain anonymous. Now listen to this. Pete, I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas, uh, home of Bill Clinton originally, if you remember that. A lot of people forget that. Uh, Little Rock, Arkansas market, and I'm currently at 11,500 deliveries on DoorDash. Not too bad. Recently, in the past month, a lot of drivers have been getting a lot of stacked orders. During that time, my customer rating has gone from a 4.99 to a 4.77. In fact, last night, I picked up an order from Popeyes and across the street picked up another order from Outback Steakhouse. Ooh, I love Outback Steakhouse and Popeyes. The first order that I had to deliver was Popeyes at an apartment complex. This, this particular apartment complex isn't well lit at night and it took a minute to find the apartment. Oh, don't we love those nighttime apartment complex deliveries? Dino, from saying it like it is, shout out to you on that. <clears throat> this particular apartment complex isn't well lit at night. Yep. The second delivery was 15 miles away in a suburb of Little Rock where I had to travel over a bridge where there was a lot of construction. Yikes, man. I hate that. The customer, as I was traveling to his house, called me and said, uh, let's see, well, it's a big, long-haired German Shepherd, uh, and said he was tracking me and asked why I was traveling to an address that was completely far from the restaurant and quite a ways away from his house. I explained to the customer that our drivers uh, often have multiple orders and have to go to um, go in the direction that the app or customer service assigns me. He started cussing me out and said, so now the stakes and other items are going to get called cold. He called me an SOB and said, I'm going to give you the worst rating possible. And he demanded a refund. I immediately called driver support to cover my ass and explained what happened. As I told customer support, everything in America has three things in their house apartment or condo, a television, a radio, and mic and a microwave, that this isn't the first time this has happened on a stacked order. In fact, the complaints are getting more frequent. Pete, I have a question and a possible solution to this. I happen to have two cell phones. What would happen if I turned my DoorDash phone off, the one with the Dash app and orders, and, and on my other phone put in the addresses of the two deliveries? Or I could use also use a navigation system that, cu that customers can't track. I also wish that DoorDash would either ignore or not count ratings on stacked orders. I can understand stacked orders on Walmart orders, but for restaurant deliveries, that shouldn't be the case. Also, it's fairly warm here for most of the year. Why assign drivers a stacked order when one of them is from a place that serves ice cream and that order happens to be the second delivery? It just doesn't make any sense. By the way, there are three major restaurants that they that say they will not under any circumstances release food to any driver who has a stacked order. Please don't use my name. Well, the idea with turning off the phone so that they can't track you, it doesn't matter because they're going to be able to track you some way or another, you know, otherwise what's going to happen is it might say, it might say, uh, something is wrong with the order or whatever, and they might try and get in contact with you or whatever. I, you know, unfortunately, if you try and do anything that's going to alter how the customer can view you, that could lead to an issue. I've never heard of that. I'm not saying to go and try and do it, but if you want to experiment it, you know, with that on your own and if it works for you, God bless you. You know what I mean? But again, I am not recommending that you try and manipulate the system or anything. 
uh, I, I, if you ever want to use your own navigation, like a, like a Garmin or a Nuvi or a Magellan, if they even still make those, uh, you know, I have one. I have a Garmin myself that I keep in my car as a backup in case there's something wrong uh, with my signal or whatever. But I'll tell you right now, you know, it, it, you proceed with caution. And this is one of those reasons why I always say that DoorDash needs to get rid of this damn rating system because it can be manipulated, okay? You did nothing wrong. You were doing your job. So the customer decided to freak out about it. But yes, absolutely, always, if a customer is threatening you in any way, contact DoorDash immediately. You handled this beautifully, beautifully done, in my opinion. So dashers and drivers in the chat or the comments, do you think this dasher handled this delivery well? I'm gonna say yes, I really am. And of course, if any of you guys out there ever have anything you wanna share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever you got, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com is the place for you. Uh, yeah, paid to drive stories at gmail.com is the place for you to send it. And of course, if you guys want a quicker response from me, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive that link is in the description or in the pin top comment and anyone who signs up on there as a patron is my way of saying thank you as i give you guys shout outs in all my new videos so with that being said when you hear your name called uh say hey pete i heard my name so we've got uh the very generous john birchfield brian pomeroy brian medina heidi barnes joe valerio angela counts mccarty Kurt Paul, Tulsa Todd, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Samantha Michaels, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Just In Case, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hein, Brian Richardson, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, uh, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. If you want to sign up, like I said, links are in the description or the pin top comment. Definitely go check it out. And with that being said, everybody, uh, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. Uh, I hope all of you guys are saving lots of money on your gas out there with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone to save money on your gas. Scroll down this page and look in the description where it says Get the Free Gas app. You click on that link. It'll tell you how to download it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you use. And then from that point, what you do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, Take a picture of your receipt with your, with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today. Simple as that. And uh, yeah, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, guys, make sure to go to paytodrivestore.com. Uh, Links in the description down below. We have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. Paytodrivestore.com is the place for you. Go check that out. And if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate it so much. Leave a comment saying end 415, E-N-D 415. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to drive and pay to drive logs and as always drive safe be well and we'll see you on the next one peace everybody later